The worst part about my wife being pregnant was um, traveling. I had to go to uh, Denver. I went through, uh, and uh, if you ever have to go through Denver, drive. Don't fly. <laughs> Denver Airport is the, one of the worst airports in the country, okay? It's hot garbage. I hate Denver Airport, okay? It's needlessly large. I mean, it is. It's a 20-minute walk at the Denver Airport to where you turn the corner and go, damn, that's a long-ass walk. <laughs> oh, hell no. I cannot walk this. I wore the wrong shoes. <laughs> you need some cross trainers in Denver Airport, Jack. I'm fat. I wore slip-on so I didn't have to bend over at security. Fat <laughs> guys know what I'm talking about. They're like, uh, blister bending over. Take the blister. <laughs> I was like, I am not walking, because it was way down there, man. I mean, like, a long way. Like, I couldn't see the end. That's how far it was. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Uh, black man with a golf cart! Black man with a golf cart! Hope you got this some bitch charged all the way up. <laughs> I don't want you breaking down halfway, Jack. <laughs> Y'all, they picked me up at gate 88. Gate 31, Kansas State Line. <laughs> it's a big airport, Jack. Okay, they drop you off at this escalator, because you got to take the escalator down to a train to take another escalator up to baggage claim, okay? Way away, apparently. And I was unprepared for how high this escalator was, okay? It's one of those really super tall escalators that's scary, okay? And I, I'm like, I started leaning back for no reason. <laughs> because I know, I know it's irrational. I know that the stairs gonna stay the same level the whole way down, there's no possibility. But as a fat man, I'm always scared that my old nemesis gravity might show up. And if I start to fall, that's 47 people dead, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to save your life. Think about that. I'm a little superstitious, though. Uh, when we got down to the bottom, and by the way, it started to get warmer on the way down. I was like, y'all smell sulfur? Repent! Repent! Okay. At the bottom, it's a, uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, uh, there's a train, right? Uh, for me, I always like to get on the last car of the train and get in the back bench, okay? I like to sit down on the bench because I'm fat and I want to keep this much mass low, okay? In case they hit the brake hard. You know, I don't trust that little handle. That's all I'm saying. I don't trust that little handle. That can't stop the kid, okay? <laughs> and I ain't strong enough to stop it either, okay? I mean, I have to be, like, tied to it or something. I mean, I would try. I would try to save your life, okay? But all you could get was like, oh! That's all I could do. I swear to God. That's it. Oh! If you hear a, oh, on a train at the airport, you better look out, son. I kill seven people, get a nine-year-old stuck in my belly button. Hey, help, 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 help. I want the Red Power Ranger. Help, help. And so I'm sitting on the back bench, and I'm thinking, you know, okay, all right, I'm on the back bench. I've got the whole train to myself. It's awesome, okay? And just about the doors about to close, 40 Chinese nationals came on the train with me. Now, let me preface this before I move any further. These were Chinese nationals. They're not your Chinese from San Francisco or around here, your Best Buy Chinese. <laughs> These were bona fide Chinese Chinese. Spock haircut and all. Now, I'm not talking about anybody else out there that might be of Chinese descent. I don't know you. I also uh, can't speak for uh, everyone in China or the territories they occupy. <laughs> I'm just talking about these 40 people that I interacted with in Denver Airport. They were the stinkiest, nastiest people I've ever met in my life. You don't know, you weren't there, okay? 
First of all, the whole train smells like bok choy and ass, okay? It's brutal. Brutal. It's like a, one big flatulent train. And I'm like, oh, God, that's in my nose. Oh, oh. Y'all, they had a cooked duck hanging on the outside of their luggage. Unwrapped. Like it was a travel pillow. Had hair on it, lint. That duck eye was looking at me. The beak was open. Creepy! Now, friends, if you were gonna travel halfway around the world with some cooked poultry, you'd wrap it up into some aluminum foil, wouldn't you? Right? Maybe a bread bag, some. Not these dirty bastards. They just left it out there. Oh, I think it was about to turn, too. So I got that nasty duck smell. I got bok choy and ass rock in the house. And then, what, those sons of bitches don't cover their mouth when they cough. The dirty red bastard. This is all like. <laughs> yeah. Coughing. Okay, maybe you don't understand. They're in front of me, I'm on the back bench. The train is going forward. All I'm seeing is this huge cloud of SARS and bird flu and lead coming at me, just crawling all over my body. I feel the SARS and bird flu just creeping me out in slave labor. Ah! It's so dirty, oh my God. I wanted an SOS pad, like a steel wool, like get a Sally filled shower from Silkwood. Oh! Decontaminate me, please! <laughs> Creepiest things ever happened to me. They were talking China talk, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I don't know, I don't know how you are. I don't know the difference between Mandarin and Cantonese. I don't. I don't know. But I do know that I own uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon on DVD. <laughs> and I can recognize some damn China talk when I hear it. <laughs> so they was talking China talk, right? And uh, the same coffee, all right, it, you, know, uh, you know, it's weird, you know? Ugh. Oh, coffee, he, he, something came out of his mouth. <laughs> hit another Chinaman in the face. And all that other Chinaman did was this. <laughs> that was so not would be my reaction. And by the way, just so you know, it wasn't no white spit that's really round like your grandmama used to spit on you once in a while. You know, that you see over here in the corner and work its way to the middle, then shoot out at you. You're like, oh. Oh, where is grandmama spin? I mean, come on, we're family. No, this had some color to it. And it, yes! It looked like a chewed up gummy bear. Yes! I was there. You cannot be possibly more grossed out than me. Bok choy ass, duck eye looking at me. I about vomited in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All he did was this. <laughs> That's how it went down. It was like, ching dong, <coughs> I'd be like, ah! Ah! I'd be pouring gas over my body like a Buddhist monk protest in Tibet. <laughs> Whole train would smell like fajitas. Dirty bird fluey mother. <laughs> Ooh. Finally, the train pulls into the station. We get off the Tuberculosis Express. <laughs> right there, I would have paid $300 for a Perel shower. Just bathe me in Perel. <laughs> Woo!
But you're not done at Denver Airport just because you get to the end of the train. Oh, no, now you got to find your bags. So you go up, all right, there's, and there's this huge tow board. And I don't know if they've changed it now, okay? But then it wasn't alphabetically from city of origin, okay? It was as it, as it landed, okay, is how they rated your baggage claim, all right? But if you're fat and you take forever to get the baggage claim, like, mm, I don't know, me, all right? <laughs> you lose your city, okay? You don't know where your baggage claim is. You're like, look at this huge family feud tote board. And you're like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Show me Nashville. <laughs> All right. Baggage claim 92. Where am I at? Six. Black man with a golf cart! Black man with a golf cart! 